Now, JP Morgan is shifting about 200 billion euros in assets from the UK to Frankfurt because of Brexit. That's just under 10% of the bank's total balance sheet. The move could make JP Morgan Germany's sixth biggest lender. So, could this be part of a broader trend? And what's it going to mean for competition in the financial industry here in Germany? We're joined now by Hubertus Fate, managing director of Frankfurt Mine Finance. Hubertus, um, let me first ask you what, uh, uh, what you think about moves because of Brexit. Obviously, there are moves also because of COVID, but how much do you expect Brexit to move um, the finance business from the city of London out and maybe into Frankfurt? Yeah. Well, uh, what we expect is anywhere between 750 to 800 billion euro of banking assets to be moved into Frankfurt. What we know already now that around 300 billion have arrived already by now. We expect another 100 billion to come by the end of the year, and then that remains. 350 to 400 billion will depend a little bit on the final outcome of the negotiations, but they're more or less earmarked for being moved depending on the final outcome. So this could be, so there could be much more of this still to come then, Hubertus, from yes, other banks? I think, I think we're only halfway through. So what do you think we're going to see in terms of um, in terms of bodies following those assets? I mean, uh, you've got 200 bankers. I know J.P. Morgan is given the option to leave the city and go to Paris, Madrid, uh, Amsterdam. Do you think Frankfurt's going to be a winner in terms of attracting those bankers? Do we have the right infrastructure, for example, in place? Yeah. <laughs> If you look at bodies, I think you have to take COVID into consideration. What we've seen by already end of last year were about 1,500 jobs moving in. And jobs does not necessarily mean bodies. Why? If the job moves in, it can be locally recruited because the ecosystem here is, is actually sufficiently sophisticated that for m most of the jobs, you can recruit locally. So it's not necessary to really move bodies. Um, we had expected by the beginning of the year that throughout 2020, another 2,000 jobs would follow. Obviously, given COVID, we haven't seen that. There is, however, a very close relationship between assets and bodies. Um, so what we see now is that assets moving in uh, and bodies will very likely be delayed when moving in. Why is that the case? For the simple reason, because the regulators want to see bodies backing up the assets. Hubertus, do you expect these big U.S. banks that move money to Frankfurt to start going after domestic German business? To what extent will that be part of the story? Well, that certainly is a concern of the local incumbents. Uh, and uh, they very likely will go after, after German business, after European business. You know, the majority of those moving into Frankfurt build in Frankfurt their European hubs, so they would go after, after all, all of European business that, uh, that's in their sight. Um, I think we, we already have a highly competitive market that would make it hyper-competitive. What are your uh, uh, what are the implications you think for um, the ECB for other regulators? Are they going to have to also boost their forces? Are they going to have to um, push up their numbers as well? The answer is a clear and strong yes. From all I know is that they've done it already. They've read it themselves. They've boosted the numbers. They've built the capacity. Uh, however, due to, to various delays in the, in the, in the Brexit negotiations, uh, so that some of the capacity has been lying idle. So I don't see a, a massive new capacity buildup. I think the regulators are fairly ready.